Counselor James Golden, 20 Glenwood Avenue, Trenton, New Jersey. Uh, every time I think about coming up uh, to speak in this forum, uh, I, I have an internal struggle. And today, uh, in, in a moment of reflection, I thought about something someone once said. There's a time when silence is golden. <laughs> Other times it's just plain yellow. And I think for any of us, given what has happened in the city over the last couple of years, and certainly what's going on these days, who chooses to sit and remain silent, simply lacks courage. And I can tell you as a taxpayer in this city, uh, for the last nearly 13 years, uh, I'm no longer going to sit and remain silent. I've heard some things tonight, uh, quite frankly, that uh, I find, uh, as always, pretty disturbing. Let me just quickly enumerate. One, uh, the mayor boasts about cutting the budget over the last couple of fiscal years by $28 million. And on its face, it sounds good. But quite honestly, it's no different than if I got laid off and received a pink slip from my job, coming home and waving that slip in front of my wife and saying, look, honey, I just reduced the budget by this amount of money over the next year. The point of the matter is we need that $28 million. We need the services that money represents. When I came here as police director 13 years ago, we had 373 sworn police officers and a budget of about $30 million. And I went all over the city. And do you know what people were saying to me as I uh, entertained them and listened to their complaints? We need more police officers. And you know what my response was? You can't afford more police officers. That was 13 years ago with 375 sworn and a budget in excess of $30 million. Today we have 105 fewer, or if you want to add the 18 officers, you can do the math. Uh, and that's a subject perhaps for another time. The point is, uh, we have blood flowing on the streets of the city of Trenton. We have a third fewer police officers had when I first came and, when, and that we had just a couple of years ago. So we can't brag about reducing or cutting the budget when we need desperately the services that that money represents. The point of the matter is where could that money come from? How are we going to generate that revenue that we did so desperately need? Uh, a few other things that I've heard and, and I'll be finished. Uh, the mayor recently has emerged and uh, through press conferences and press releases uh, has asserted that he is indeed the mayor and that he's in charge. It is unequivocal that he's running this city. That's disturbing to me. I've heard comments and I've seen it. Well, it's time for the mayor to step up to the plate. Let me tell you, the mayor has had many at-bats and struck out every time. This man knows that uh, I admire him. I think he's personal. I think he's engaging. And frankly, I think he's disarming in terms of the business of the city and politics. But as I said from the outset, it's time to be courageous. It's time to be bold. It's not time for friendship and familiarity. And all the things that have taken this city down over the time that I've been here. Leadership is about solving problems. It's about getting to the root cause. It's not about friendships, familiarity, relationships. Uh, it's not about uh, political alliances. Leadership is about solving problems. And let me tell you, in this city right now, we've got just a few of them. So look, no disrespect to you, Mr. Mayor, or the department directors about whom you spoke and said it's unequivocal, and just ask any one of them. But let me tell you, I might take you up on that. And if I go to department directors that have been appointed and vetted by the state and are now, as you say, and I agree, annually serving this city, but if I go to any one of them and ask you that question and you say to me unequivocally, the mayor's in charge, and I'm following the mayor, and I'm coming back to this podium, and I'll be pounding on it, asking for your resignation, because any 
everybody that's following that direction is absolutely going the wrong way.